Please forgive me, but I can never tell you the truth. I just pray you never find out. Maybe I'm just like my mother. Maybe I'm just another liar. What was that, darling? Oh, I didn't know you were awake. Yeah. What a way to wake up, huh? That's the sound of your voice. You were in my dreams, you know. Hmm. You were in mine, too. Yeah? And you were laying here next to me, under the moonlight. We made love for hours. Well, that wasn't a dream. Um, that was most of last night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. It's afternoon, babe. Oh, it's afternoon? Mm -hmm. Well, well, good afternoon, then. You know, I wish every day were like this. Waking up next to the woman that I love. I do love you. Fox, I really, really do love you. You don't have to tell me. You're preaching to the choir, I know. Well, it's just, um... I know, I just want you to know that I really mean it. I do. Okay. I, do I love you, too. I love you so much. You know, I never knew love until you opened up my heart. Oh, boy. I never thought I'd be talking like some cheesy dim bulb hero in a romance novel, you know? <laughs> I like Sorry. it. It's okay. Yeah? Well, I don't, I'm not sure it goes with the crane image. Who knows, maybe being thrown out into the cold did me some good, huh? It's a funny thing about love, though. It's, it's like it brings up all these other feelings that go along with it, you know, like, um, like trust. And I was raised never to trust anybody. But I trust you. I trust you more than I've ever trusted anyone. And now, <laughs> what do you say? We pick up where my dream left off. Uh, well, I don't know if we can do that because there's no moonlight. There's no moonlight. Uh -uh. Well, maybe I can think of something that we can do until we turn the moonlight back on. <laughs> oh, that is the craziest hour of television. No wonder I'm addicted to it. Look who's up. Hello, mamacita. Good morning. Keep your fingers out of those. It'll ruin your appetite. And I'm making lunch. But I love candy. Wait a second. Did I just hear you say you're making lunch? You mean you ordered takeout, right? Oh, ye of little faith. Look what I discovered. Voila. You just open up a can, and you have instant delicious soup. It's fabulous on a, on a cold day like today. And now that you're up, I can get started on the um, sandwiches. Do you prefer chicken salad or BLT? I think there's some bacon left over from Sam's breakfast. Wait a minute. My mother, the former Mrs. Julian Crane, making sandwiches and soup? Let me ask you a question. Did you and Sam by any chance rent the Stepford Wives last night? Because there's no way that you're my mother. <laughs> no, it's me. It's the new me, and I love it. Who knew this domestic stuff could be so much fun? Well, I don't know. I, I guess I never thought of housework as being fun, you know? Mm. <laughs> no, it is. It is when you're doing it for somebody you love. I am finally part of Sam's life, and, and now that you're living here, Fox, maybe we can become a real family. I promise I, I'm going to try to be a real mother to you if you'll give me the chance. Well, you know, hey, as long as I don't have to join the, the Cub Scouts or Little League or anything. Don't make fun. I really want to do all the things a normal mom does, if you'll let me. Okay, you know, as long as you're okay with starting from square one. Yeah, I can learn. <laughs> I'm even watching Martha Stewart reruns. Today we learned how to plant our own asparagus bed. Sparrows, <laughs> you don't even know how to make your own bed. Oh, 
please. No, Martha taught us that weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So, why don't you two get yourself some coffee? I'm going to put these away, and then I'll start on the sandwiches. And I will make you a bet. They're going to be better than what you had at boarding school. That's my mother? Mm. That's my mother. It's unbelievable. I never knew that side of her even existed. Well, she loves Sam. Yeah, she must. She seems happy. I guess love will do that to you, huh? Yeah. Love can make you do things that are completely alien to your own nature. Yeah, well, as long as you keep making me this happy, you can be an alien for all I care. Fox, I do love you. But you know what? I have to say, it's kind of bizarre seeing your mom running around this kitchen. I mean, you just don't understand. This was Grace Bennett's base of operations, Home Ex Central. I'd come in here and she'd be cooking jam or shelling peas, you know? <laughs> or making that disgusting tomato pie. Tomato soup cake. Yeah. Ugh. No, I, I liked it. It was OK. I'm not saying anything about your mom or anything. It's just weird, you know? I mean, I thought Sam and Grace were going to be together forever until they were old and gray. But now, your mother is bustling away in this kitchen. And Grace is overseas somewhere with David Hastings, doing who knows what, and my mother and father aren't together anymore. Hmm. I guess nothing lasts forever, huh? Thought Chad and I were going to be together forever, too. Hey, look, don't worry, all right? Because you and I have a fresh start. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be together forever. OK? There's nothing that's going to come between us. I hope not. That was delicious. <laughs> yes. Mother, you won your butt. Let me just be the first to congratulate you and say that miracles can happen. <laughs> this is definitely better than anything I've ever had at the country club. <laughs> well, thank you. There's plenty more. No. No, you know what? I am stuffed. It's candy time. That was really great. Thank you. Well, thank you. For the moment, I am sticking to simple things. The first time I cooked, it was a disaster. And then I thought, well, I'll try to make Sam's favorite roast beef. So I went to the store and I bought this big hunk of beef. And I brought it home. I followed the recipe to a T. I put it in the oven. The recipe said, check for doneness. So I looked, and I looked, and I looked. Well, it looked done to me. So I brought it into the dining room. I was so proud. And Sam cut into it. And it was so raw, I thought it was going to jump off the table and moo. Yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, we ordered Chinese food. And I learned my lesson. Stick to what you know, and then test and test. OK. Oh, well. <laughs> Anyway, this, this was really great. I'm going to go change. Excuse me, please. Hey, you hurry back. Hey, well, do you have any dirty laundry? Because I'm going to do a couple of loads. You going to do laundry too, Mom? Do you want to uh, tune the engine on my car while you're at it? <laughs> you know what? Laundry is really hard. I just wash everything in cold water on delicate and hope for the best. <laughs> Oh, how? Hi. Well, don't you look pretty? Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm off to do laundry. <laughs> Woman's work is never done. Don't you give me a bad time, Nicholas Foxworth Crane. Or you can just do your own laundry, pounded on a rock by the river. Ooh, no. nasty on me. So you're still not used to your mom being so domestic, huh? Oh, I, it's, I can't believe it. You know, you have no idea what she was like when I was a kid. Yeah, I didn't even know she knew how to boil water, let alone make food, do laundry. But um, while you were gone, you missed the best part. What? Well, um, <clears throat> my mom tried to give me the talk, you know, talk about the birds and the bees. What? <laughs> well, I, I think um, I think what she was getting at is she wanted to make sure all the birds and bees were wearing a raincoat. Huh. She wanted to make sure we were using protection, you know? She doesn't think that we're ready to start having babies. Unbelievable. Like, I need that lecture, right? I, I told her not to worry that you and I were on the same page, you know? 
just started this relationship. We need to get more comfortable with each other before we start worrying about things like that. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah. With everything that we've gone through, the last thing, the very last thing we need right now is start worrying about a baby. Worry about? I'm gonna let Ethan and Gwen give my mother the first grandchild, you know? I made sure that she knew that you and I were on the same page. We agree. We're not ready to start having babies for a long, long time. We always use protection. Well, no. Uh, I'm, I mean, that was that first time at the pool house. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on, we'd have to be pretty unlucky to get pregnant our first time out, you know? Well, it could happen, you know. Well, it could happen, I guess, if we were in some cheesy Victorian novel or maybe in the movies. Nobody's luck's that bad. 